A great many of you will know um, our speaker this evening, um, Dr. Kevin Privett. Now, some of you may know him from uh, working alongside him at um, uh, uh, previous uh, places of employment. Um, a great many will probably know you from many of the lecture courses that Kevin has um, presented at uh, universities around the country. Um, and maybe one or two of you uh, sat in the audience this evening had Kevin as your external examiner for your MSc in Applied Geology or um, uh, Engineering Geology. And uh, if you did, this evening's your chance to get your own back on him. Uh, for those of you who uh, haven't met Kevin before uh, this evening, let me tell you a little bit about uh, what he's been up to over the last 45 years. Uh, Kevin arrived in uh, Bristol um, as a, a young man uh, to study geology. Um, he left Bristol in 1980 uh, as Dr. Kevin Privet. Now, um, Kevin's supervisor at, um, uh, at the University of Bristol for his PhD was Dr. Brian Hawkins, the late uh, Brian Hawkins. Um, and it should perhaps uh, come as no surprise that um, with Brian Hawkins as his PhD supervisor and Peter Fuchs as his external examiner, uh, that Kevin was destined to uh, contribute greatly to uh, the world of engineering geology um, and also the industry in general. So having completed his uh, academic studies, uh, Kevin commenced his professional career uh, with Sir Robert McAlpine uh, as Deputy Laboratory Manager. Uh, having uh, worked there for several years, um, Jevin, uh, Kevin moved across into the world of consultancy uh, with roles at uh, Gold Associates, uh, Applied Geology, uh, followed by uh, a role at SRK, um, and in 2004 joined Hydrock. I've had the absolute, and I mean Kevin, the absolute privilege of working with you um, at Hydrock. And I can, I can say that um, throughout 12 years that you worked with us, the, the depth of your experience um, was evident almost on a daily, uh, a daily basis. It, do, it wouldn't matter um, so whatever the technical query, how um, remote or oblique that query was that was coming from the clients, uh, Kevin would always have an answer. And that answer would come from experience that he's got in the UK, but invariably uh, experience that you had um, uh, in Europe or even further afield as well. Now, it's not just Kevin's great depth of technical, um, uh, technical ability and um, experience uh, that, that we have benefited from, um, and indeed any of you who have worked with Kevin equally uh, will have benefited from, but also your eagerness to, um, to develop and inspire the younger generation of engineer. So in addition to mentoring fellow staff, um, uh, on, I, I would say for probably 20 years, uh, Kevin has also undertaken um, part-time lecturing at uh, universities, um, MSc supervision, and also external examination um, of um, BSc and MSc courses. Now, since retirement from the consultancy world, um, Kevin's most recent contribution to, uh, to the university arena has been at the University of Portsmouth. There, he was a visiting research fellow uh, and also an MSc supervisor um, for two students researching slope stability um, in, the, in the South Cotswolds. Now, interestingly, that's where Kevin undertook his own PhD research. So there's a very neat symmetry to your uh, academic career, Kevin. Now, most of us might think that a successful consultancy career uh, and a role in inspiring the next generation of, uh, of engineer was enough, that that was fulfilling enough. But Kevin has also been a very significant contributor to the wider industry as well. Throughout his career, Kevin has been an active member of a number of steering groups, and probably too many to mention, um, and was also, in recognition of his land quality experience and contributions, also invited to be co-author of the EIC, AGS and CLARE uh, Human Health Generic Assessment Criteria work. I don't know how, but Kevin also found the time to be treasurer, vice chair, and chair of this very society as well. Kevin's authored in excess of 25 technical papers with publications um, in a varied um, number of, um, of journals. And in addition to being a publisher, uh, sorry, in addition to uh, being an author, uh, has also contributed on the publishing side as well, um, acting uh, on the ed editorial board of QJEH, sorry, QJEGH, 
the Quarterly Journal of Engineering, Geology and Hydrogeology for an eight-year period in the early 90s. It's evident that throughout his career, Kevin has had a hunger for new learning, for the acquisition of new knowledge, and also for gaining new experiences. This is part of, of uh, Kevin's, um, part of what makes Kevin tick. But when an individual is then is equally motivated to share that experience and share that learning, um, then the benefits uh, multiply exponentially. This is also within Kevin's DNA. So, Kevin, it's for these four decades of dedication to advancing both your learning and therefore, by definition, our learning as well, um, uh, and for your significant contributions back to the industry in general, um, that uh, the engineering group this evening awards you the 19th Glossop Medal. In a moment, we'll invite you, Kevin, um, to present this year's Glossop Medal. But to comment finally, Kevin, it's a testament uh, to your contribution, um, both uh, to all of our learning and also to inspiring the next generation of engineer that you're surrounded today by so many of your fellow colleagues, former work colleagues, uh, contemporaries, friends and family. They're all here to celebrate with you, Kevin. So, Kevin, I'd like to introduce you to the front to present this year's Glossop Lecture. <laughs> 